I had some people ask me how to machine an HX35 compressor housing to fit onto an HE351CW. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. This is the HX35 compressor housing. I have several upgrades of this cover for the HX35 and HX40 series. Here's an HE351CW bearing housing. The diameter here is only 5 inches. The diameter of the HX35 bearing housing is 6 inches. To make this fit on here, if it's even possible at all, you're going to have to make an adapter plate that goes from here until like 5 inches in diameter. And you're going to have to have the correct spacing so you can fit the clip in here to hold that plate in and also a clip here to hold the bearing housing into that plate. You're also going to have to have the correct dimensions from the plate to this face here so that the radius all lines up and is not touching and is not, is not too far away from that compressor housing. I had somebody buy one of these covers and then ask me how do I machine this to fit onto this CW bearing housing and I told him it wasn't possible, so he sent me a negative feedback on eBay. This was never listed to work with an HE351CW. I just want to be clear about that. Now we do have upgrade options for the compressor housing for the CW, so I'll go ahead and leave links to everything that I have to do a CW upgrade to where you don't have to mess with any of this. I think what some people are trying to do is they want to put a CW on like a second gen, so a third gen turbo on a second gen, I think is what they're trying to do. But they want to do it in such a way that they don't have to change their intercooler piping, the outlet flange here. That's my theory. I'm not really sure why people are thinking that it's possible to do this or it's a good idea to do that. When it is possible to do the CW turbo without doing this compressor housing on a second gen, but you have to rotate the compressor housing and then you also have to make a special bracket so that the wastegate actuator still mounts. That's kind of a lot of extra work that some people probably aren't really willing to do, but it is possible to do it. Like I was mentioning before, if you go the other way that I mentioned by making that adapter plate, it may not be possible, but that would be my best guess of how to do that. The only thing that I do as far as upgrades I do upgrades to be able to put the original turbo, but upgraded on the same vehicle. I usually don't go and mix between the two like this per person wanted to do because that's just a little bit too confusing. If you want a simple way to upgrade a CW, or you could buy the CW covers that I already have that are upgraded cover and wheels. This one is machined for a 62.45 compressor wheel. This one is the 67 compressor wheel and housing. This area here will end up being 67.9 millimeter. I also got these for the H1C. So this one is a 62, it's the same compressor wheel we used over here, 62.45 compressor wheel. And I have the matching housing for it. I want your feedback on this. Is there that much of a demand to have an adapter plate to adapt an HX cover to the CW cover? And if so, that's probably something that I could make, but I'm not really sure why people are wanting to make that. So comment below, why are people wanting this?